Can I drive? No. Nope. Leave it to me. I can talk a dog off a meat wagon. <laughs> yeah, you're a real fucking funny shit, Arthur Morgan, eh? Real fucking funny. Calm down. You better sleep with your eyes open. Well, here we go, Miss Jones. Meet McGuire Jr. <laughs> Is that it? Oh, you wait. <laughs> He's a fighter. Oh, okay. I'm the future. In all its glory. Hey, Sean. Yeah, what's up, big man? How much? What are you doing? Nothing. Nothing at all. I brought... Oh, hello, Arthur. And what's she doing? <clears throat> She's doing nothing, too. <laughs> what exactly? I admit you love me. Admit it, I don't stop annoying you. I'll admit nothing. You love me. I'd rather love a snake. <laughs> now she loves me. <laughs> I'm the happiest man alive. It's all right, Sean Stent, isn't it? <laughs> Hasn't seen any action like this since nine months before young Jackie popped out. <laughs> Magnificent, like the peaks of the dirty vase. <laughs> Shut up, idiot. You two keep it down in there. Shut it, Morgan. Hey, what are you doing? It was an old trick me dad taught me. No, don't ever do that again. <laughs> oh, okay, okay, wait, wait. No. No, no, hey, that's not. There, no. Oh. Good you hear it, will you? Oh, yes, yes. Oh, you're a lovely woman. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, that's Stop it. Oh. Pulling that face. Oh, yes. Oh, oh Michelle. Will you oh. shut up? Oh. Hey, are you close? No, we're near. Oh. 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 There she blows. Oh, yeah. Oh. Oh, phew. Oh, I think all my worries have floated away. Oh, oh, oh. Hey, hey, where are you going? We're done, ain't we? Well, <laughs> you certainly are, darling. Oh. What are you doing there? Yo, creep. <laughs> Shit. <clears throat> ah, well, at least it ain't your job. Ah, shut up, Arthur. Yeah, your job's starting the fights. You ain't winning them. I can scrap, Arthur. I'm just not good at homework. I can see. Besides, what do you care, Englishman? You've got no time for me. I tried to find your work, but then you're off cutting jobs with other folks, and your boy Sean doesn't get a look in. Guess I don't want to get shot, that's all. Yeah, you're a real fucking funny shit, Arthur Morgan, huh? Real fucking funny. Calm down. You better sleep with your eyes open. Yeah, well, you're gonna sleep with your chest open if you ain't careful, boy. <laughs> I love you, Arthur Morgan. I love you. Come on, take a shot. Come on, take your best shot, please, huh? And let me come on the raid, witches. Raid? Don't be playing coy with me, son. It's unbecoming. That bloody train you and him has set up. What you're doing out here, you're going to need guns. You're going to need men. Oh, that. So Marston told you? It ain't a big show. I need comments. If I take you, I might as well bring Mike along. Now compare me to that oily toward again. You're a dead man. Fair enough. Anyway, Arthur, what's your problem with me? In fact, don't tell me. I already know. You are threatened by me. Threatened by you? Yeah, my youthful vigor. It intimidates you. Does it? The story is old as the hills. The changing of the guard, the fading of the light. You're toast, old man. Okay. Who are you? I'm the future. 
In all its glory. Yeah, well, good luck. Good luck and shut up. I want to get some rest before nightfall. No mumbling, no breathing. Bear left here, towards Rose. Anyway, Doc will put you out of commission for the rest of the year. Why do you have to speak so much? It's incessant. Plus, I've still got some blood in me veins. You old bastards have forgotten how to live. I blame you two for rescuing them. Far too much trouble for what we got out of it. Yeah, it takes a whole army of filthy hunters to bring in Sean McGuire. And look at me now, in the gutter seat. <laughs> Back in business, boys. <laughs> You know, my dad always used to say, Not the dad, no, please. No, this again. Fine. Damn you, tree. Sulky, angry, scared face. Slow down. A right barrel of laughs. We don't have time for this. All right, let's get this over with. You was quiet in there. Took everything I had. That son of hers. I'll shove that silver spoon down his throat and pull it clean out of his ass. The smug fucker. Okay. So what's she got us doing at the Gray's place? She wants us to torture tobacco fields. Said they ain't had rain in weeks round here. What? Yep. Yeah, using that back there. Moonshine? Burns faster than kerosene, that stuff. Said it'd be fit, she did. All I'm thinking is how about my toy fit my boot up your hook. No, just snotty old bitch. Jose <laughs> really picked the right feller for tea at the manor, didn't he? Ah, oh, he's giving his usual flannel. One of these families got gold stashed somewhere, he reckons. I mean, I'm off for sticking to rich folk. I hate rich folk. They really bear me some bloody money at the end of all this. Jose knows what he's doing. Does he, though? The master finagler of nothing. Easy, easy. So far, we've destroyed the brake weight still. Tried to send the shine back to them. Now we're on this fool's errand, which I'm very much looking forward to, by the way. They were saying old man Gray's double security after that business at the saloon. So, we're just gonna drive on in there, is that it? Don't worry. I got a plan. Baggins go in and out of there all the time with supplies, equipment, payroll. Especially now they're taking on all that extra muscle. We're making a delivery. That's all. Just leave it to me. I can talk a dog off a meat wagon. <laughs> all right, then. Hey, Sean. Yeah, what's up, big man? How much? What are you doing? Nothing. Nothing at all. I brought... Oh, hello, Arthur. And what's she doing? <clears throat> She's doing nothing, too. <laughs> what exactly are you planning? Just a little late robbery, Arthur. Nothing that serious fella like yourself needs to worry about. And you need to get Mary Beth killed as well as yourself? Away with yourself, Arthur Morgan. We'll be getting rich. Not killed. Besides, Arthur, I'm so bored, I'd rather be shot. If you insist, I'm in. We don't want you in. We got this ourselves. I've seen you fight, little feller. You can kill any one of us, but I ain't letting you take her out, Robin. Not without an extra gun. What should be acting, not fighting. Sounds good. Come on then, let's go rob this. What we rob? The stagecoach. Some fella told me about. Wonderful. Come on, you can tell me more on the ride. Where are we heading? Just don't start acting like you're the lead on this, like you always do. Wouldn't dream of it. Arthur, I guess you can watch and give us marks out of ten. Right now, you're at a one. Jeez. Can't believe you have to tag along with this just to keep an eye on the girl. Remember the crap you gave me for turning up at that train job with Marston and Charles? I'm keeping an eye on you, not her. I know she's solid. All right. Very funny. Happy memories, I'm sure. So will you two write about that in your journals? Can we get back to the matter at hand here? My job that I brought you both in on. <laughs> you can unload it here. In here? Oh. <laughs> the horse is like a, a swift one, <clears throat> do they? <laughs> Excuse me? Um, nothing. It's grand. Put up with these little fellas here. Thankfully, it ain't rained. And that old barn over there should go up like a torch. <laughs> How many of these boys you think you need? They should do it. Let's head out the back. 
Look, once they get wind of us, there'll be no turning back, so move quickly. Of course, I'm, I'm rebel stock, boy. I was born burning down manor houses. We'll burn quietly. Jesus, that's going into a right party. Do you call that a party? That right way had got a money for, darling. Let's just get out of here first. Oh, hello, Arthur. And what's she doing? <clears throat> She's doing nothing, too. <laughs> what? 